Hey y'all, hey, hey y'all, hey, hey y'all, hi! It's me again, up here to share what the Holy Spirit has laid on my heart today. This morning, um, when I was, after I had spent some time with the Lord in devotion, cried out to him for a few moments, he shared, he dropped something in my spirit that, and I know this morning the the emotion that I was feeling was not just for myself. Um, and the Holy Spirit dropped on my heart. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. And this scripture is in Psalms 34, 19. I'm going to start at the 11th verse. Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. How many know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom? I have another um, video that I want to share about wisdom um, that will be following this one. But the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous and his ears toward their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the memory of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. Affliction will slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. Y'all, the word of God is good all by itself. The Holy Spirit had me to write down, be empowered. After I wrote, many are the affliction of, of the righteous. The Holy Spirit had me to write down, be empowered. Let the Holy Spirit endow us with power from on high. God did not bring you this far just to bring you this far. He didn't bring us this far just to abandon us in this season, in this time, whatever state we are in. Um, he did not bring us this far to abandon us. Some afflictions were assigned to continue the curse. Okay, and y'all know we, we talk about generational curses and breaking generational curses. We're we're so um we've been in a time where there are so many of us who talk about breaking generational curses, okay? Even if you're the only one that's experienced an affliction in your family, you you have to realize that is a telltale way to identify that you are a generational curse breaker. If you if there's been a pattern in your family of generational wealth and you're the only one who is experiencing gen a, a, um, a state of affliction of poverty addiction things of that nature you have to that's a telltale way to realize and identify that there is something about you that god is set apart and separated to be unique and it's intended to break the curse that may not even have been seen in the generation in the generations before um the curse the curse of affliction is so that we remain in a state of barrenness and poverty to ensure that we never ascend or elevate to ensure that we never get to the place where god wants us to be to fulfill destiny and purpose remember our mind is with the mind that we serve the lord the heart is deceitfully wicked who can but know it we can't trust this heart as far as we can throw it but it's with our mind that we serve the lord that is why the mind is the main thing that the enemy attacks y'all know the, that saying that the mind is the devil's playground right so the instability of it it's, it's important the stability of it is important so that any so anything that compromises our state of mind our state of consciousness our awareness our mental state is a threat to the fulfillment of purpose okay afflictions some of them are directly connected to continuing the curse re-establishing and maintaining the altars and the covenants that were placed on our bloodline to hinder us from fulfilling destiny and purpose what is an affliction an affliction is something that causes pain and suffering so if there is something in our lives that's attached to our life whether it be on anyone else in our families um 
lineage or lineage or legacy or whether it is a pattern that we see throughout our bloodline and throughout our generation it is an affliction assigned by the enemy to continue or to establish and continue and maintain barrenness to continue and maintain a state of poverty and to keep us in a wilderness state for as long as we can in hopes that we outlive um that that the affliction outlives our lifespan okay remember on a video before i said the enemy's job is to delay us until uh we no longer have time okay he cannot stop what the plan of god so even if it has to continue on to our children or our children's children the goal is that we continue to be delayed that we continue to stay in a state of barrenness in a state of poverty and in a state of wilderness going around and around in circles and until we never ascend or until we never elevate to the place that god will have us or need us to be in order to get to the purpose and destiny that he has for us i love you guys so much remember many are the afflictions of the righteous many it said many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivers us out of them all he has the power to deliver us out of anything that caused that has caused us pain and suffering god says he's gonna give you double beauty for ashes double uh for your shame God is a restorer of those who diligently seek him. I love y'all so much. God loves you better, best, and the absolute most. You got to guarantee that there's nothing that you can do to separate you from the love of a true and living God. I'll see y'all on the next video.